Hi, I'm Denison, creator of Marine Diesel Basics, the visual guide to marine diesel system maintenance, storage, winterizing and recommissioning. In this video, I'd like to show you why it's important to remove the rubber impeller from your raw water pump and to inspect it closely. It may not be in as good a condition as it first appears when you see it inside the pump. So let's get started. So here is the impeller taken out of the raw water pump. It looks in pretty good condition, but if you look carefully you can see that some of the veins are bent over. If that's not clear, here's the new one. See how much straighter these veins are? And this is because, this has happened to this impeller because the impeller has been left in when the pump has not been used and so some of the veins have done what's called taking a set, that is they've become permanently bent, just slightly, but this will reduce the efficiency of the pump. Otherwise it looks pretty good. And many people have a quick look at the impeller inside their pump and think everything is okay. But in fact, when the impeller veins are compressed inside the pump, it's impossible to see what damage there may be to the veins themselves. So let's take a much closer look at these veins. Okay, on the top here, right there, you can see that there's some missing. This one, look, it's cracked. This one is torn. See that there? Again, this one is torn. Now, this impeller was still working and seem to be working normally. However, it's only a matter of time before these veins will break off. Look at that. This is almost torn all the way off. It's only a matter of time before these break off, you lose cooling water and the engine will start to overheat. And inevitably, this will happen just when you need maximum revs from the engine and the pump is having to work harder than ever. Moving the throttle up and down, such as in manoeuvring, or coming into a marine or into a harbour, that's the hardest time on these pumps, not when it's steady state running. So it's time to replace this impeller, as you can see. Look there, you can see the bend quite clear there on that one, and this one too. And then for comparison, here's the new one, obviously in perfect condition ready to go in. So that perhaps shows you how easy it is to think that the impeller is in good condition when in fact it needs replacing. Thanks for watching and until next time I wish you fair winds and a reliable diesel.